Hey guys, what's up? Lemon here. Uh, just coming back with you another uh, Dreamhack Winter 2014 uh, Pick'em Challenge uh, predictions. So day one, uh, we had a few almost upsets. Um, I can't believe Cloud9 didn't make it through. I think they just had a real tough game against Hellraisers. I think the way that they got paired up wasn't too good and I wasn't expecting Hellraisers to play as well as they were. Uh, I can't remember if they've got a new lineup, I'm not too sure, but Hellraisers have been playing as a team. Compared to most other teams that there, they haven't really been working together like Glue, but Hellraisers are really kind of on it. Uh, so is uh, who are LDLC is pretty on it like a team. Uh, I buy power. Uh, don't know what went wrong there. I think maybe had a few hiccups because of their new lineup, but I believe they have played a fair few matches with their new lineup. They may just be worn out as a team for uh, playing so long because I don't think they had a rest. But um, if you love the game, personal opinion, shouldn't matter if you keep playing or not. But sometimes a rest is always good. Uh, so Pentasports made it through and so did Hellraisers. I just got those two picks wrong. Uh, I did lose money on the Cloud9 game, which kind of sucks. But uh, whoever bet on the Hellraisers to beat them would have got a a uh, nice payout in the uh, first qualifier of the first group stages. So, um, moving on with the quarterfinals, these are the teams I've picked. Uh, Hellraisers versus Nip. Uh, I don't know about Hellraisers, but I know Nip, especially depends on what map they get. Uh, I believe they're a really strong team, especially with Michael Ailey. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not too sure yet. I think that's how you... But anyway, but being him was there, being their main AWPA, having that option to take now he can hold some title lines. Uh, he's not as good as the other orps going around like JW and uh, Kenny S, but still it's a new addition for Nip which can be really used because they really never have a dedicated sniper. They kind of used to just hand it off to Fliff, Fifth Laren and he wasn't really that aggressive. So uh, hopefully Nip will pull a win. Uh, home crowd, so Hellraisers should get a little bit nervous, but um, it'll be good having the crowd behind them and giving that motivation. But uh, Virtus Pro vs Penta, yeah, it should should be a clear win here. But uh, Penta could pull something out on top. But Virtus Pro with experience uh, should take it out. LDLC vs Fnatic. Ah, uh, Fnatic saying people are saying Fnatic should win, but I don't know. With the recent scandals going on about the Vax and things like that, and people calling uh, people calling Olive Master and um, Flusher cheating. But uh, I do personally think they're cheating. I have seen some pretty weird videos of them and stupid shots they've been hitting. But um, yeah, I'll leave a Reddit description below where you can see all the uh, links and GIF, GIF use of them using their aim key. But uh, Dignitas versus Navi. Team Dignitas should win this one. Uh, they've got one of the... Out of all the teams, they've got the better map selection. Like, they're better on most maps where other teams only specify on a few where they've Dignitas got a bit, of, bit more open range. Same with LDLC probably in the top three teams of map selection. So those are my predictions. I don't think any should, thing should get in the way of uh, LDLC and Fnatic. LDLC should take it, depending on what map they play. I don't think Fnatic will give them a fair fight. It'll be a close game, but he's best of three, so we'll see what happens. And now uh, Dignitas should take it. So that's my picks for uh, day two uh, in the quarterfinals. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, peace out.